Well, today what I see is happening for uh, high school graduates is a bit of a crisis. It's a dilemma because we're educating kids, trying to point them to a four-year college. And the reality is, is if you took any graduating class and went five years down the road and asked them how many of you graduated from a college, uh, a university, you're probably looking at less than 20%. It doesn't work. Many of our college graduates, even our high school graduates, are, 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 are not finding jobs in the area. Uh, and most of our youth are not going to college. So the pathway to making real money is the building trades. And so what the building trades offers is a middle class opportunity for men and women any age to come and get into an apprenticeship program and learn a skill, learn a craft that will allow them to live in the middle class will allow them to have health care, a pension, and uh, be able to take those skills, sign up, and, and go to work. The Building Trades Council is a big tent organization, and, and that organization in Contra Costa has 26 affiliates. The building Trades work synergistically to combine all of our efforts so that we're in solidarity and unified working for our political goals and our agenda. The actual locals, what they're doing is they're, they're training through their apprenticeship programs the next generation of skilled craftspeople and then they're acting as the hiring hall to send those workers out into the workforce. We have a very simple agenda. We build things, then we maintain it, and when it gets old, we tear it down and we build it again. In 2004, I came out of the uh, Peruso New Way Center Drug and Rehabilitation Program, and uh, a friend of mine was in the program and introduced me to the building trades. My first job, I was uh, on the bridge jackhammering all night long, and uh, changed my life. You know, it gave me a second chance in a first class life. Every time I crossed the center for a bridge, I helped do the, I helped do the retrofit on that bridge. I helped build City Hall. So every time I passed these areas, I, I worked on it, I had something to do with that, and so it gives me meaning and purpose. So it's, it's bringing, building a legacy in your work. There are multiple crafts uh, in the Building Trades Council. We have laborers who do the groundwork, making sure big areas like this are, are ready to build on. Then you had a concrete, which is the laborers. Then you had a plumbers, the pipe fitters, electricians that come and wire everything up. And then you have the steam fitters, you know, iron workers that come in here and put all this the iron up and the steel before they even pour the concrete. You have uh, people who read plans, you know, designers. So all that, you know, you know just uh, the whole facet of construction. You know, it's a brotherhood. You know, everybody have their part of the work. And all of them have apprenticeship programs. And those apprenticeship programs are open to individuals uh, on a yearly basis. You fill out an application, there, there are state standards that uh, are uh, required to be met. We tell all our kids, you know, they, you know, Obama said it best, math and science is the key. You know, you get in those two areas and get well in, there, there's no limit to your future. So it's a free education. The uh, day that you move into the apprenticeship programs, you begin training in uh, the classroom, but you also have um, OTJ, on-the-job training, and so you're being paid while you learn because you're working at apprenticeship wages. And in addition to that, when you graduate, you are getting the full wages, full benefits, and you also have zero debt. And the building trades have some of the best benefits packages in the, in the, in the United States. Just around the corner is uh, a infrastructure bill that it will be passed and that infrastructure bill is going to create all sorts of job opportunities that are passing through state and federal legislatures. Rebuilding bridges, we'll be rebuilding highways, we'll be repairing infrastructure in school systems, we'll be repairing hospitals. The list goes on and on and on. It's a great opportunity here in Richmond that's coming forth here in the next a uh, few years, we have a few major, real major projects like the Hilltop Mall. Hilltop Mall is going to be a major project that's going to bring opportunities for work. So it, it gives you an opportunity to, to uh, be a positive, productive member of society without doing four years of college and being in debt. And we give you that opportunity in the building trades. We'll give you that hand up. 